Hey, welcome back everybody. Sign here again with episode 102 of Enigmatica 2 Expert Mode. And I got the Advanced Metallurgic Fabricator put together. Uh, it's pretty simple. It uh, requires a lot of modularium, but eh, nothing completely major. So we have an item input in the front, a fluid input, which only a few recipes require fluid, really. And then item output over here, power plug in the middle, so it's all powered up, ready to go. It's missing item inputs now. And I'm going to... Uh, let's go through... I'm going to be making Osmeridium, Osgol Glass, and Myrian in here. Uh, I probably should go ahead and make Modularium as well, right? As it is Modularium, you get two ingots for four electrical steel, two platinum, pulsating crystal, and powered payless. In here... One Palis, one Platinum, two Electrical Seals, so half of those and no Pulsating Crystal to make two. So, definitely better. I've been trying to avoid using the multi-blocks, but... The Osmeridium setup of mine is giving me... Still, such a flippin' headache. This last time, all the fluids disappeared whenever I went to make some. So, yeah, this... Doesn't work. Works fine on paper. Just like Marxism, works in theory. Real-life application suffers greatly. All right, so processing pattern, uh, modularium, like so. Yeah, let's get some of this stuff put away as well. Uh, iron drum can go away as well. And I've been moving some stuff around as well. Like I had 56 buckets of liquid DNA up at my old warehouse base thing, so which is now the uh, the press room. All right, Modularium, good. Mirian? Uh, let's see. Yeah, Mirian was always fun. It's basically a block of glass. One ingot each of Cobalt, Elementium, Mana Steel, and Terra Steel equals uh, four ingots of Mirian. But if we go into here, three ingots, by the way, you notice there's no Cobalt, and ten glass equals six Mirian. So we're spending more glass, which is honestly not a problem, to, uh, I don't know, 50% greater efficiency on the uh, Mirian output, plus one less item. So, Osco glass. Uh, this was three ingots of each, equal one ingot of Osco glass. So, backed up too far there. Or we can do three, one of each ingot, equals two ingots. And for whatever reason, these recipes cause a lag spike whenever you click on them. I have no idea why. Then Osmeridium, it's normally, I think, uh, what is it? Yeah, one and one equals two ingots. Or one and one equals four. And now which redeem did you give me? Ah, you give me the ingot. Good. That works. And with those recipes, there's actually no fluid required, so I'm not even really going to bother hooking up the fluid input for now. But these guys are all going to go in here, and now I have to go through and remove these recipes from my uh, crafting setup. Now in the future, if I decide to do one of the recipes that requires a, a liquid, I do have the cabling run for it already, and it's just a wireless receiver getting signal from over there with the other ones. It just saves having to run a bunch of, you know, cabling over here. And now I actually have cable over here. So whenever I want to do something with like that, I actually have an access point close by. Which is eh, kind of nice. Ah, uh, not you. Here. Ingot. And now we wait a second here. And it occurred to me today when I was trying to autocraft some stuff that I am going to have to redo my atomic reconstructor setup. Uh, let's see. Okay, Alamite stays put. Unfortunately, you can't make that one in the metallurgic fabricator. That would have been nice. Uh, let's see. Multi-block crafter would be modularium, right? Okay, these three here, they get to... Oh, no, that's modular machine block there. Oh, modularium doesn't say ingot on it, does it? That's That's a thing. So... Yeah, actually, with the way I have it set up, this there's not going to be an easy way to remove the uh, the recipes, honestly, is there? 
Hmm. Now modularium, that's going to be easy to remove because that's in the multiple crafter. It's just not called modularium ingot for a reason. But the thing is, I was never actually making ingots of these. I was just making molten Osco glass here. Which this setup just needs to, I think, go away at this point. So I'll rip that out off camera. Uh, this is my Alamite setup. This is working like a champ, so not a problem there. Um... Hmm. So I'm not really hurting on these resources, especially now with Obsidian. I've got that under control, so it's no longer constantly running out. I see two coolant. Molten Osco glass. This is supposed to be Molten Mirian right here to make the primal mana. So I'm going to have to edit this recipe as well. Actually, no, I should be... That's been the main problem, though, is 50% of the time, it doesn't make the Mirian like it's supposed to, so I don't get the primal mana. The other half of the time is it doesn't recognize the fact that I've got primal mana in the system. So... Actually, I can change that. And the reason for that, I'm just going to have it auto make primal mana until it backs to us that four bucket tank over there. Well, actually, no, it's like 36 buckets, isn't it? Yeah, it is, because you're 32. Yeah. And then this alloy tank here, this holds four buckets. That's 36 plus the 46 total buckets of uh, mana. But then it'll be constantly ready. Which would probably honestly be the better option at this point. So let's get rid of that. And that way, whenever you need to make draconic or wyvern cores, this thing should be ready to go with mana sitting inside of it. Because I have it right now set to auto input mana to the bottom from the refined storage system. And this is just a uh, external storage over here. So it should work fine. Um. We're going to definitely change up our Molten Mirian recipe, though. As soon as I can deal with this lag spike here. There we go. Ah, Mirian ingot. Gotcha. Okay. There's the modular machine, multi-block crafter. I can make a block of it. And... Yeah, that whole thing is just now defunct, so... I guess I was making ingots, wasn't I? Oop. You just throw that on the ground, by the way. And the other one was Osco glass, right? Wow, there we go. And I never actually had that set up like this, right? Hmm. How did I? It's been a little bit of time since I set this up, actually. So how are you getting your Osco glass? Oh god, yeah, that's right, it's a mess down here. You are exporting Molten Osco glass from in here. Which you are getting from... where? Here. Right, so this just needs to come out completely. Um... Tell you what. Go ahead and... Pull that machine out. Hey, stack of glowstone ingots. Okay, don't have to worry about that anymore. Same with those for now. And you are my osmium. You can come out as well. And yeah, it was being automated in ingot former right here is how it was working. Okay, so. Yeah, let's just, uh. Are you auto pulling from the back? You look like you are, actually. Alright, well that'll work for me then, because that'll drain this tank here. Alright, so... Two plus stacks, and then I already put another stack and a half away. Uh, Osgo glass. So, yeah, we actually had a lot of Osgo glass just sitting there chilling, honestly. 
Uh, we are now up to 230 total, so just short of four stacks. All right, and that can all come out of there. Okay, let's see. Let's go ahead and Okay, you don't go anywhere else? Okay, good. Making sure I don't break anything else around here, trying to take care of all this. Yes, I hear you, little dragon buddy. You are very vocal this morning. And this one here can go. All right, because, yeah, you go other places around. Okay. Ah, nice clean floor again. At least right there. Right, but instead of you being that now, right? Actually, give me back one of those magma crucibles. Uh, the magma crucible resonant? Or why not? That's not where I wanted you to go. You go here, you are going to be insert in the bottom, output up top. Uh, let's see, we need an exporter here. And then actually I do, I do need one of those Osco glass, don't I? That is just a weird word to be saying too, honestly. All right, export that into there. You can have this one as well. And you will keep that tank full. Now, you are saying, hey, primal mana, right? Yeah. We're done with that. So flipping done with that right now. Thing has been nothing but a headache this entire time. And I didn't have that tank there. I have no idea. All right, another magma crucible, please. Um, I'll grab one of these resonance. All right, and input in the bottom, output up top. Another exporter. Why? Wow, okay, because, yeah, thing. I really should be updating some of the added mods I put into this pack. You go there. Hey, uh, I've got seven Mirian. You export that. Now I'm going to need crafting upgrades for both of those, though. If I don't put them in now, I'm going to completely forget, and then I'm going to be complaining up a storm that my system is not working, and I never taught it crafting upgrades, huh? Seriously? Yeah, okay, I just wasn't seeing them. Like, I should have, you know, not these, but... You and you, and no, not yet, wrenches. And you are... You are completely back stuff now, but you're almost out of power. You, on the other hand... Why are you not... Well, it made some primal mana, but it's... Does it take that long to craft, or did I mess something up? Let's go with the ladder, honestly. Um, now, unfortunately, the only way to really get power into there is going to be, like, here. All right. You're filling up with power now? Awesome. Mana is going here. Is this full now? This is. Look at that. That's awesome. All right. What's going on over here? Missing item input. You've got a crafting upgrade. You should be asking for Mirian, but you're not. Yeah. Output six Mirian. 
So, what's going on? Right. I didn't bother sealing this up quite yet. Mirian, item. Crafting upgrade. Input on the bottom. What the heck? Why are you not, like, auto-requesting these? Oh. It did, and the system's like, no. Because the pattern, thanks to uh, the general vagaries of, you know, JEI, decided we want light stained glass, light gray stained glass. Not the one that you've got 146,000 of. No, 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 we want the one you have nothing of. When you go to make this recipe, because, you know, screw you, that's why. All right. In you go. And should hopefully see the same kick into life here soon. There it goes. I have four speed upgrades in this thing. Or actually, no, I only have two speed upgrades in here. So it should dump the items back into the system relatively quickly once it uh once it crafts. So and we're filling up here with molten Mirian. That is actually the, the slow point now is of this thing, how fast it can accept, huh? Here, set you to pull. Oh no, you were on pull. Oh, I thought I had a flat transfer node there. Whoops. Well. I mean that works. It gives my system time to produce more terror steel, honestly. How are we doing on Terra Steel anyway? 129. Not not great. Not horrible, mind you. Not horrible, but uh definitely not great. Flat transfer node there. And pattern can go in there. Alright, so. Now, hopefully, Wyvern Cores should not be much of an issue. I was getting some prep work done to make the Dimensional Builder here. And I went to make an Awakened Core, and it's like, oh. Did you go and do that to me, huh? And that's when it jammed up again, and I'm like, you know what? I'm done. We're changing all this up so this never happens again. Wow, that's a lot of lapis. It's requesting a lot of coolant right now is what's going on, so. Processing 8, 8, 4, 4, and 12. 6, 6, 3, 3, and 9, yeah. It's not... The forestry carpenters aren't exactly the fastest. Oh, that's an idea, though. That is an idea. Do I have a carpenter just kind of laying around? Hey, I've got three. Awesome. Uh, can I get a water bucket, please? Oh, hey, cool. I got one here. I want to make a soldering iron. Oh, hey, cool. I have one. Awesome. Even better. All right, and then say circuits. Um, say eight for now, I guess. And then I need some electron tubes. I want the one that electrical stimulators. No, um, these are all for engines. Socketed machines. Okay, decrease power use by ten. Now, nah, who cares? Blazing. Here we go. Speed boost two. So I need need a lot of blazing. I only got four. Oh. All right. Well, I'm gonna grab those so I remember what I'm going after now. Thermionic fabricator, please. Start. Done. Grab some gla glass. Thank you. Not sponges. And these guys are five blaze powder, two redstone per four. 
Well, I need 32. Well, I need 27 more recipes. So I need 35 blaze powder. And like 14 redstone. God, all the items I have. Yeah, let's just... Uh, my 14 redstone. Blaze powder, there's like... Uh, nowhere near enough. I remember how I had that processing. Might be the crusher in the room next to me to the left. Uh, Speed-wise, yeah, that's what it's kind of looking like. I needed, what, 28 of these? All right, now where is a quick source of power around here I can just plug this into? I have it right here. You, we're going to be making these, so set the recipe. You can go in there, you can go in there. I only need like four pieces of glass in here, honestly. I just had a flashback to Age of Engineering where you didn't use glass. You used uh, environmental tech clear glass. Which is always a bit of a shock the first time you go to do it. Really? I needed 35, didn't I? Yeah, I did. I got 28. Okay. My bad. So I need like seven more of these. Boom and boom. Should have half a bucket of glass there. Yeah. Who cares? Nami. All right. And Thermionic Fabricator can go away. I'm going to give this a circuit board. Enhanced circuit boards only fit two electron tubes. I thought they fit four. No, that's like uh, the other ones. It's the intricates, right? Which I've only got six of. Uh, can I get like two more, please? That's going to take a hot minute, though. Um... <clears throat> Yeah, the crafter downstairs is stocked of everything but ultimate control circuits, which I have to make as well. Are right, you buggering up over here? I have a feeling you're, you're you're messing up. Or you're done. That? Okay. Or, well, you, yeah, yeah, you, like, there's nothing crafting right now, so it's done. Okay, that uh, was a bit of a surprise, honestly. I'm so used to that thing messing up now that uh, I'm not prepared for it whenever it works. Oh, yeah, I need to slip it over to machine upgrade. Speed boost 2. Okay, cool. I can just shift click and only one goes in. Awesome. And these should greatly enhance my uh, my farms. Or not my farms, my, uh, my carpenters. At the cost of power, but honestly, what's power right now when you get down to it? So we'll come in here and be like, hey, you're making Ludicrite? Uh, oh, you can't speed upgrade carpenters. That's right. There's no socket for it. All right. I feel smart now. I don't really know if I have any other machines I can put this in. Uh, maybe over here. This guy. Centrifuge right here. It's already got one. That's right. That was done so long ago, I completely forgot about that. And I forgot about carpenters not doing the... Uh, thing I wanted them to, so. Well, that's... In case I get into more forestry machines in the future, I am I am prepared. And I need that carpenter, because you need that to make the soldering iron. Should have got a little suspicious when I noticed I already had a soldering iron. Alright. 
right, so we're looking at what now? Oh, yes, my wyvern cores. Are they done yet? They should be. Oh, yeah, we're done. Sweet. And start. There we go. Charging wasn't doing anything for a second there, and I got a little bit worried. What else am I going to need for this dimensional builder? Uh, tier 6 void resource, tier 6 void ore miner. I'd like to pour either of those, honestly. Advanced miner, I think I got that set up so I can autocraft the advanced miner, though. So how bad is a tier 6 resource? That's my tier 6 void ore miner. Which is not particularly great. Uh, the resource miner? Oh, I can do that in a regular crafting table. Okay, cool. Which means I probably have one hanging around somewhere. All right, in you go. What am I missing? A lot. I've got three things out of all this. So I don't have... I thought I had a shape... Oh, it's shape card silk quarry is why. Should I have a shape card quarry, though? No, I don't. Okay. Shape card quarry. I am missing the hammerheads. So that is Psymetal, Manulin, Osco Glass, and Ethereum. Great. Um, I'm going to make eight of them anyway, but well. Osco glass, I need eight. That's already burned through quite a bit of Osco glass, honestly. Uh, Manulin. Did I ever set Manulin to auto crafting? I did. So that shouldn't take too long then. Um, Enderium's crafting, Manulin's crafting, and then Psy Metal is the other thing, right? Am I Manulin done yet? Yeah, it is. I mean, Deerium done yet? Oh, yeah, it is. And in Metal, I've got 425, so. Always, always overcraft. You are my Inca cast. Give me the... Where is my hammerhead? Oh, that didn't move. I thought that was like some sort of weird guard for a second there. Why are you like this? Why do you always like leave things broken? Actually, that one's not my fault. That is just the conduits sometimes don't like to stay hooked up to. Yep. Yeah, for some reason, conduits like to disconnect from sewer drains for whatever reason. Oh, you're going to take a while too, aren't you? Not anymore. Manulin, Psymetal. Enderium's cooling down right now. And then Osgo Glass, and then we are set. And boom. Easy as can be. So, shape card, please. Shape card, quarry. Start. That's, yeah, gonna take a second, isn't it? Uh, steel plate, yeah, it's... The amount of things that go into some of these recipes is just insane. Imagine trying to do all this by manual crafting. Oh, man, I'm like episode 40 right now. Well, I'd have the same progress I had in episode 40. And I'd probably have no hair left. We're just waiting on a cell frame then? 
and spooky cave noises. Yeah, you should have done. You should have been, yeah, finished by now. Hmm, you're not doing a thing over here, though. But probably finished while I was running down there. Yet again. And so, big card. No. Reinforced cell frame. Where the heck do you process it? There you go. Ship card quarry to say ship card silk quarry. That gets us up to four. Now, what was the thing up here? Laser base and then advanced miner. Uh, advanced miner. Yes, please. A uh, laser base. Sure. I need another digital miner, and I'm going to need the tier sixes here. So. Resource miner, tier six. Start. And now this guy just needs a single tier five, which is the tier five. I can autocraft. Tier six, not so much. I didn't really need, you know, see myself needing more than, you know, to craft one more tier six. Uh, RTGs though, I'm going to need two of you. Pellets RTG fuel. I need four Atheum and then two Iridium Neutron Reflectors. Okay. That one's going to take a while, too. And then Atheum Solar Cells. Now I just need uh, four of you. And I'm thinking maybe I should hook up well, uh, tier six solar. It could be interesting anyway. So where are we at on things here? Lots of auto crafting happening is what's going on. What do I need a machine case for? Hmm. So the tier six resource miner is done. And we're processing up some coal to make the last thick neutron reflectors what's going on here yeah there we go and then i just need two more of these guys which are going to take a lot of coal processing okay oh wait a second i have a tier six right here i've just been glossing over it i made a second one but there's my tier five void or minor controller the rtgs to be done i'm gonna start taking damage i guess and then I could have sworn that was done already. Uh, you go dead center. RTGs were on the sides. Neutron reflector goes here. What the heck are iridium neutron reflectors used for anyway? Void or minor controller tier five. Okay. That and I think I kicked off the crafting in the wrong order. Or not. But here we go. And there's our tier six void or minor controller. That can go there. Uh, the miner should be done. Advanced miner. I need a digital miner and I need the, the laser. Cross fingers. I got all the recipes fixed. Awesome. That might take a little bit still though too. Um... Actually, not, not terrible. Done. 
than Digital Miner. Now, the last thing I need, though, is the Infinity Catalyst. So, yeah, that is going to have to wait a bit more. But I wanted to get everything else processed up first, right? Green block we're good on. Block of Demon Metal, I'm not 100% certain on. These two blocks, I'm pretty sure I need to craft. Benitoite and Anglicite are definitely going to be a thing as well. Music disc from Nuclear Craft. Well, accepts any record. Okay. Indus Pearl, Ultimate Stew. Oh, that's going to be a fun one now, isn't it? Um, that's another Ultimate Crafting recipe. I wonder. Uh, let's go processing. Uh, not here, though. Here. Ultimate Stew. Now. Let's go here. Can I go over to, like, say, this Ultimate Crafting Table here that, you know, already has a recipe... I didn't lock the table to a recipe. Can I craft that? Because this recipe, especially the ultimate stew recipe, uh, you can see here is shapeless, right? Shapeless recipe requires tier four crafting table. What am I missing? Oh, a whole bunch of stuff. Right. Um, Beans and celery, melon blocks, bamboo shoots, rustic tomatoes. Is there an ore dictionary button by any chance up in here? Ah, there is. Okay, cool. All right. Yeah, your ore dict is not on. So yeah, there is a few more crops that I have to grow. How many ultimate stews am I going to need? I need one per Infinity Catalyst, right? If I want to make a stupid amount of power, I can run it through a Culinary Generator, too. And then I need... I need a lot. Yeah. Okay. Because I need... 10. Oh, no, no. I need 11 for Infinity Ingot. Plus Ultimate Singularities, right? So we're looking at what? First of all, this recipe here. I can't redo it that way. Okay. Well, cleared. Ordict. Now we're good. Actually, I am going to kind of sort of cheat. I'm going to screenshot that. So that way I can have it open on my other monitor where I'm going to uh, determine what crops I need to get auto-growing, which is uh, probably all of them. So we're looking at 9, 2, 3, 4, 5, that's 45, plus 7, 52, minus 1, so 51 different types of crops. And our dictionary names, let's all fruit, let's all berry, crop blackberry. Okay, so yeah, tell you what. Did I ever teach you how to... Oh, I never did. Oh, I... That might be why. Alright, well, here are you. They're gonna be a thing. Maybe make ejectors. Regular crafting. Okay. Did I ever teach you how to make, like, dense tin plates? I did. Okay. Alright. I even taught you how to make ejector upgrades. I taught you how to make everything but the cloche. Okay. Can I have that back, please? Thank you. And then... I get a crafter. One of these guys. Sure. Lots of running around this episode. Right. Um, I mean, yes, that could be a thing. 
exporter, exporter, da 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 da. Got an external storage on you. Um, we don't have any other cable. Okay. There, right? And you're going to know how to make a garden. Cloche, four buckets of liquid glass, son of a. You know what? You know what? No, no, you can stay. You can stay. You'll be fine. Actually, that'll make it a little bit easier on me. I have my conduits on me. I don't. Wow. So there's you then, and then an importer. Really, am I out of importers? Wow. Importer can go here. Conduit can go there. You now have power. Going to say cable here and there. And now. And now. Forestry liquid glass comes from a nuclear craft melter. Meltery. All right. Uh, Melter. Come on, hurry up. And then... It's honestly just glass, so I'm not worried about having, like, too big of a tank on top. Uh, do we still have... We do have a pressurized fluid tank. Uh, let's see, and it's cleared out. Cool. Uh, external storage, please. You are going to be set to fluids. Extract only. Melter is done. Very nice. Right now, um, really need need to feed it glass, don't I? So some of that. Uh, I need a filter. I don't even need to feed it glass. I just need to feed it. I think sand would work too. Are you? Yeah, you already work. Okay, there we go. Right, and here you are going to export sand. You're going to pull from the bottom side. Hey, look at that. We're getting liquid glass from forestry. Now, the only thing I'm worried about is this thing not being able to accept liquid glass from external sources. That's pretty much the only thing. So, we got four buckets worth, though. Bosch times one. Start. Missing treated wood planks, vertical planks. Son of a... It's always something. All right, let's go set you to Ordict. Actually, let's just... Uh, yeah, we've got like 2,600 treated wood planks, and it's on Autocraft. I'm not particularly worried about this. I just wish that JEI would... Whenever there was something in there, it would revert to, you know... Like, oh, well, you need treated wood? Let's, uh, let's just do the base form of treated wood. You know, or you need, you know, any type of glass, just let's give you regular vanilla Minecraft glass. Because then it would be a little more predictable behavior and it would be easier to go, right? 
Available for buckets of liquid glass. Very nice. Uh, piston is a broken texture. That's weird. Oh yeah, I need to set your recipe as well, don't I? And you're not accepting items. It's not going to accept the glass. Hmm. All right, cancel. Come here. I'm going to have to remove that glass, I think. That's an importer. Can I... See now I'm now I've gone into full out experimentation mode. What can I get away with with this stuff? Like maybe it's just you don't like it from that side. Well, molten salt reactor glass, that's not it. Liquid glass from forestry? Bingo. Mm, yeah, look at that. Because it the system's handling it now, so it should be fine to uh, pull from here to push into this machine with the refined storage system. It's not doing it. It might have to go on the top. It might have to go on the top. I don't see in that case. Uh, here, give me that filter back, would you? And you can have that, right? No, you do not like receiving liquids. Okay. Eh, worth a shot, right? I'm kind of curious if the importer will work in the top, though, because forestry machines can be a little bit weird about that. So you are doing that. Here, give me this. You don't need sand anymore. Hey, look at that. That's going to work. Okay. Uh, the downside is I'm not going to be able to craft as many in a row as I... Well, it's not going to be tied to having liquid glass in the system, though, once I get this fixed. So it'll dump all the items in and then just wait for sand to show up. So that's actually probably would be the better option when you get down to it. Uh, let's see. Crafter. There. All right, 56, 60, 64 with eight buckets of glass in there. Say cloche. We get like, uh, say, 10 of these going. I just had a thought, though. Got a glass pane in there. Ah! Stupid thing. The glass pane... Actually, it's my fault on this one. The glass pane was what we're showing in JEI to melt down. To get the molten glass. That needs to go away, too. I should really move those, honestly, and just put them in a straight line up and down. Uh, yeah, you can go here now, right? Now, how about cloche? Boom, there we go. Is the importer going to work from the top? It does. Sweet. And as hot as it is, it's melting the sand relatively instantaneously into glass. So... Shouldn't really be much of a problem. But seeing as I just found out, I need a stupid amount of crops. Uh, yeah. What was it? We came up with 51 different crops. That's going to be four and change of black hole controllers. 
to go that route. So yeah, you're gonna have to go away for now. You can go there. I need to get you put away though. But I'm gonna go ahead and call this an episode. Um, there we go. 290 bucks liquid DNA now. I don't think I'm probably gonna need that much for quite a while. And it's still constantly producing, so in a win-win. But uh I forgot what I was gonna say already. Yeah, I need to get a, a closure room set up. And definitely not on this floor. It'll probably just be a long hallway branching off of one of these walls. Maybe even like possibly right back through here. Because it's once I get it set up, I'll never have to touch it again. But uh, next episode, uh, let's actually look at our Infinity Catalyst. Let's just go ahead and favor that as well. Okay, Waking Draconic Cores we can make. Music Discs, I got a few. I'm going to wait till it wraps around to vanilla. There we go. All right, if I get into Mystical Agriculture, I can make discs. Although... I'm going to favorite that. I mean, there's no recipe for Spawn Villager. But there is an industrial foregoing machine that would help with that, right? Uh, the Villager Trade Exchanger. Provided with power and a mob imprisonment tool with a Villager in it, you will gain access to automatically trade with the Villager. And I don't believe they ever run out of stock while they're in that machine. So that'll be how I get records. Uh, this and this are just a moot point now, so let's just go ahead and that out. Uh, this one too, I guess. I'll go empty it out somewhere. Uh, honestly, it's... I could just do that to empty it. I mean, also I could just, like, slap it down, like, say, here. And push into there. And then that'll make me Tinker's Construct Clear Glass. So... Wow, that stuck at 100% for a while there, didn't it? But then, at least I guess I'll have something else to play around with. I mean, quite clear glass, it's just as good, honestly, and it's less of a pain to make. Oh, well. But thank you for coming out. Oh, wait, next episode. That's right. That's what we're going to talk about. Uh, next episode. Let's get the record set up with the villager. Cosmic meatballs. Oh, frog legs, even. Oh, that's going to be a little bit of a pain. Raw duck from Pam, so... Raw prime peacock. I think I had to get nine per recipe. I'm going to have to set up some mob spawners for this, though, I think. Especially, like, the frogs. Because I don't think I can breed them. Oh, uh, and then... I do need to start working on Benitoite and Anglocyte. I've got... One, two, three, four, five, six covered already. Auto crafting. Need to get working on that one for auto crafting. Enticing crystal. Weather. Prescient. I can do prescient weather. The enticing. I think I've got a, a, a villager spawner set up for that. Then it's just the uh, the three clath rates. Which in. Wasn't there a way to make them. In a food. I guess not. Hmm. So Mercury, Mercury, Kepler, Venus, or Novus for those. Okay, then. That's going to be interesting now, isn't it? I might get to the the extended or extreme reactors uh, crystals, possibly. Uh, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, was it? Uh, each. So, yeah, they're each going to have their own extended crafting set up. And I'm thinking I'm going to have it set to automatically keep the pillars populated with items and then just replace or place the center item 
and and go. Uh, charge Draconium, I need to get that automated as well for Octodic Capacitors. That's not going to take very long at all. It, the main thing with Charge Draconium is it takes a lot of power. But I've got power now, so we're okay-ish for, for that for right now. But then I'll just kind of work around and see what other little automation projects need to be done between now and then. But thank you for coming out. I hope you're enjoying the series so far. Until the next episode, fine signing out. Have fun.